I'm not a Catholic yet, but I feel that the Lord is calling me to join the Catholic Church. I still haven't done it. And my question is, is it possible that I've been going through different health problems for the past two years because I haven't obeyed the call? And yet the Lord has miraculously healed me twice already from very serious conditions. Thank you, Diana. You know, Diana, I just don't think the Lord works that way. Uh, you know, I, I, I honestly don't think that, um, you know, he causes any kind of pain to happen uh, in, in kind of a retribution uh, for you're not, you know, attending to his call. Now, I, I would say, though, that, you know, those miraculous cures you do have, uh, you know, God's going to leave you free uh, to choose. He's not going to force you to choose. He's not going to push you to choose. He's not going to make you choose to come uh, to the Catholic Church, right, uh, you know, by kind of making a hardship that you could get alleviated uh, if you didn't do that. He just doesn't operate mm -hmm. that way. God always uh, operates in, in, you know, towards freedom. He wants you to freely choose to be with him. So use those great supernatural groundings you've already gotten, these two miraculous cures. I, I would just say, you know, um, you know, there is a call there, you know, that he's waiting for you to move uh, toward, uh, you know, coming into the church. I know there's a great deal of nervousness sometimes about doing this, you know, because, it, you know, it could mean a change with respect to your family or your children or, or something of that nature but I would just say boy it sure feels good when you take the leap and just do it find a priest or a parish where you're really at home and just say I want to be part of this RCIA I, I you know don't do it you know in order to get healed or to have an easier life do mm -hmm. it because of course when God starts touching your life with the Holy Eucharist when God starts touching your life through the Holy Spirit you're going to experience a whole new way of life you're, you're going to be taken into divine providence you're going to be taken into a kind of divine inspiration you're going to be able to do more and and maybe your health won't improve but other things will mm -hmm. because you're going to be starting you know to move out of the darkness into the light and sometimes you know we feel like we're so alone in a cosmic sense or we're so alienated in a cosmic sense we're so empty in a cosmic sense and when we make that move toward the Lord toward coming into a church mm -hmm. it's not just psychosomatic a grace starts coming into your life where you get that emptiness filled in and that loneliness starts being overcome and that darkness starts being overcome with a sense of comfort and light and the sense of kind of these little panic attacks or the emptiness attacks or these attacks of loneliness start mm -hmm. being overcome as we cooperate with the with the light mm -hmm. and, and so in in a sense then uh, you know you're going to get a spiritual healing and 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 not necessarily another physical healing you might get one but you might not get one but remember the Lord always operates through freedom mm -hmm. and the gift that you will be given at the end of the day is spiritual freedom you'll be given spiritual healing you'll be given uh, you know a way out of the darkness into the light mm -hmm. and, and of course uh, you know in, in my own life you know that ability to just say that prayer Lord push back the foreboding mm -hmm. or Lord you know I, <clears throat> I place my trust in you or, you know, Lord, make some good come from uh, out of whatever harm I might have caused. All these things right. are absolutely, uh, you know, terrific, you know, spiritual blessings that you're going to be given, not to mention divine protection, divine guidance, and divine inspiration. It's a whole new way of life. Right. It's worth it in itself, and you come closer to the God who loves you.